Welcome to your Realtor Training. I am Garth Haslam, and you are Randy Hansen of Oryx Solar. Uh, Randy, I want to pick your brain a lot okay. in this hour. Hopefully I can help you. So let's, uh, let's start with, uh, basically, you know, I have heard before that Utah and Idaho are ideal locations for solar. Uh, why is that? It's just the amount of sun that's produced during the day. Uh, it's, not, it. it's not cloudy here very often. Uh -huh. uh, we have, in uh, Utah, 5.26 hours of sun in the day. And the other thing that makes it uh, advantageous for Utah is just the state tax credits. So we've got the, uh, the fact that there's more solar hours. You know, I was thinking this morning as I was preparing for this is it never rains in Southern California, right? Right. And, you know, if you think of a sunny state, Utah and Idaho don't immediately come to mind. I'm thinking <laughs> Florida. You know, my wife loves the sun, and she's, she, if she wants sun, she's thinking Arizona, Florida. She wants to go to Hawaii. Um, why, why is Utah the, such a good candidate, you know, versus, say, Arizona? Arizona, Arizona it actually, there's a lot of sun there, but they actually the sun is almost too hot. So when it's 115 degrees out, uh -huh. it's 160, 170 degrees up on your roof, and the panels just not, are not as efficient when it gets that hot. So Utah, Utah's climate is really ideal for that. So What about like uh, Miami? Miami. I lived in Florida for about a year and a half. Uh -huh. They call it sunny Florida. I've lived in Utah for a long time. It's sunnier here than it is in Florida. You have a lot of clouds rains every afternoon so the sun's not ideal in florida not as much as it is here you know would you say utah is towards the top of the list as far as efficiency is concerned or are they at the top or where I'd, I'd say we're in the top third i wouldn't say that we're in the top 10 but we're in the top third of okay. states so. all right so there are a number of states where it does make economic sense to do solar well just because you have sun doesn't necessarily mean make, make it affordable for you it has a lot to do with how that state handles tax credits uh -huh. in utah we have two thousand dollar tax credits so okay that uh, that helps do other states have those sorts of tax there are credits? there are other states that that have state tax credits but utah is right up there so. so basically if somebody was in i don't know colorado they'd have to basically just call you and say hey what's the absolutely deal? they'd have to find out what their state tax credit or, is or if they offer that or iowa iowa correct okay in the on the category of you know what areas are best you know I want to cover not only the area as far as state geography but let's talk about the geography on the roof okay that's a good question and I have seen for example not too far north of me here I drive past it all the time doing home inspections but uh, you have panels that are generally kind of sort of facing the south mm -hmm. but then they kind of follow the hillside and then on the east side you've got them facing the east a little bit and on the west side they're they're facing west a little bit they didn't try real hard to force them to all be due south now first off i guess the first question i should ask you is why south south because that's where the that's where you get the optimum sun uh reflection so when the sun's actually, you know, in, in, in Utah, most of the sun is coming from the south. So uh, a south-facing uh, south roof is the best roof to actually have solar on it. Yeah, and, and my answer for that is, to, to why south, is because we're in the northern hemisphere. We're in the northern so hemisphere. The sun is in the south. Absolutely. So. And so that's where we want to point. Absolutely. So to me, that's one indication of, um, you know, when maybe a red flag goes up, if you've got a solar salesman and you're in, I don't know, Pennsylvania, mm -hmm. and they're trying to get you to put uh, solar panels on all four sides of your roof, or maybe if he's trying to get you to go north for whatever reason, to me, that means a red flag goes up. Big red flag. In fact, most state tax credits and even federal tax credits, you can't get any tax credit for um, panels that are on the north side. South, southeast, southwest, east or west are fine. Mm -hmm. North, it doesn't. What percentage would you say do you lose if you go uh, east versus south? You lose about 15% okay. east and west versus directly south. Okay. And then, you know, it has a lot to do with the pitch of the roof and, and everything. But on the north side, it's about 50% of what you would get on the south side. So 
And I think, for example, of my dad, um, who lives in a home that was built in 1960, and mm -hmm. he's got the, the, the trees that he planted when I was little, mm -hmm. and now they're big trees. Yep. And so he's got those trees that are actually, it's a big maple, and it's touching the house. So, and that's on the east side, the front side of the house. Okay. And then he's got another one, I don't even know what it is, but it's touching the house on the... Uh, on the west, east side of the house. Okay. The first one was the west. Then you got the east. Uh, so for I'm thinking that if a, a solar salesman were talking to him, you know he if and if he was honest, he'd probably tell you, look, if you want to get any sort of efficiency, you got to remove those trees. We'll do a shade analysis when we actually um, put panels on your roof. Before we put panels on your roof, we'll do a shade analysis. If those are affecting the direction uh, or the shade from the sun, then we're gonna either ask you to uh, trim those trees down or actually remove them. You may have to sacrifice a tree mm -hmm. uh, to, to get the power, to get the sun. Um, the nice part about that is that you can include part of that into your solar loan and get a tax, par partial tax, tax credit, credit for, for that. that. So Nice. Okay, um, next section we're gonna talk about the economics and the paybacks and all that. Okay. We'll be right back.